That'd be a mm. fascinating one to get, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh, what's another fine mess you got me into? I spent yeah. half the morning yesterday in front of the computer sketching this little rascal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, and yesterday... Yesterday afternoon, for a while, decided to. Ooh, I was even playing with, um, you know, different oh, ways of painting. Funny when people ain't got their hat on and <laughs> they're naked, yeah. they're, how different they look. And it's, um, it's not far I off. Thought they Gordon just now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gordon. <laughs> Reminds me of someone. No, I, was, I tend to well, I was, just try different things, different ways, because I'm. I keep saying it over. Eventually, I'll learn it. Is to or I'll succeed in doing it. It's loose, but that's good. He's always looking for a way. Um, a systematic work flow to do these portraits and that. Like I said the other day, it's so difficult because we're doing so many different um, subjects. I was saying, you know, in past years where I've been focused on selling paintings of local scenes and that, the focus is so tight. It's, it's really easy to do. But the way we're working, we're creating so many different, so many different subjects. Slowly. But what do they leave a brilliant way of um, getting right. such a nice collection of art. I did spend some money this week. Oh, <laughs> it, oh. it were it was my birthday, so oh. Totally, oh, I showed yes. Pauline this. Remember? Oh, look at that. oh my yes. goodness! Now that is what you call a whopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a three inch, hmm. three inch aquafine De La Reine. I, I was thinking, hey, come on. Actually, it's oh. a bit too big for paintings that we do, I think. Gosh. I think the moth is just <laughs> paints for that, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Well, what yeah. did you say? No. It wasn't that dear. I don't think there's a few hairs going to come out of it before it settles down, I think. And the other thing I did, which is something I've never done before, I bought some greens. Oh. oh. I haven't bought them before. I, I did buy some of Terry Harrison's because it seemed to be the thing to do, but I, I must admit, I can't say I haven't used any of them. What often. make are those, then? These are Ken Bromley. Yeah. The um, art discount people or whatever they're called. Because if you type art, anything art online, Jackson's comes up and Ken Bromley's the other one. I just it's only um Hooker's Green and Viridian. The two oh. greens that I've never always thrown away. <clears throat> but just lately. Yeah. Um, well I'm you can see I'm running out of what I what I call term Christine's green in my palette. So <laughs> I thought I'd better re replace it. The other colour I bought, sounds like I buy a lot, but I don't. I just buy them every now and then, was this colour, which is called, if I can read it, uh, which I can't. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's a can. This colour here, Ooh, that's nice. Carol like this one, is called yeah. Col Cobalt. Turquoise. Oh, that's mm. lovely. And that's the colour it is there. I've yeah. got something like that in acrylic. It looks identical. Yeah. The only reason I bought it was because it's, um, if you look at some techniques of doing portraits, they use it for creating <laughs> a neutral tint. We'll talk about it a bit in a minute. And what basically what the idea is, all these shadow areas and dark, you know, you, you look at the mid, they're not shadow areas, they're mid-tones all, the, all in around here. They're, they're, there are some darker ones, but they're 
basically their mid tones. That's the ones that you're trying to pick out, like the nose and some of these areas mm. here. And what you want, or well, the idea is, you, you create a neutral colour. And one of the, the ways of doing that is to use um, a cobalt turquoise and a little bit of pink. Gives you that sort of purpley colour. Or you can use how our favourite, blue and raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna and blue, does a similar thing to give us a tonal, a little neutral colour. Strange that they say use cobalt though, because cobalt, cobalt blue is quite um, solid. It's not very transparent. You know, it's a, got a, a solid, you know, it's not, it's opaque. It's a bit like Naples yellow. It's not what you class as a sort of a real watercolour in a way. But um, whereas if you use, do it the other way, using ultramarine and burnt sienna, you'll get a much a more transparent thing. Mm. Uh, wash. Ultramarine is a transparent blue by all accounts. So anyway... Have a laugh, I guess. Shall mix up, mix up a few colours. So yeah, so you've got this. Dave, cobalt. can I ask a question? Is it cobalt purple you're using, or cobalt violet? Cobalt turquoise. Turquoise. Cobalt turquoise. Yeah, if that's a, that's what us posh people in London call it. Oh, I, th I thought you said a, a cobalt purple when you was talking about shadow colour. No. No. no, using pink with it gives us that mm. Mm. more of a purpley right. colour. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, you start off, a... if you start off with cobalt violet, that actually gives you almost the mid-tone mid of Terry Harrison's thingy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that. The other... Um, <laughs> What's, you know. what's this thingy? I don't you know, I'm dread to think. <laughs> uh, shadow colour. Terry Harrison's shadow colour is almost cobalt violet. Mm. Oh, I've got some mm. of that. Could we use that? Yeah, yeah. I've got yeah that. that'll work fine. Mm. Or I have got some turquoise. But it's, not, <coughs> it's not that turquoise. But if you want to tone it down or make it... Mm. I've disappeared. Um, slightly different tone you can add a little burnt sienna so those are it's just that mid-tone neutral color that you're trying to get on his on his dark areas when you start oh, off and then yeah that's, that's what I, do. I mean i've one thing i'm gonna do a minute terry harrison i noticed some some of these pencil lines right evil little things to get rid of I was doing it yesterday and I thought, especially on the nose, it's all right on, on one side of the nose where the shadow is, but on the light side of the nose, the last thing you need is a pencil line in it. Um, is it just eats it. So anyway, fortune favours the, the brave, as they say. I've got this neutral color you've got you have to what's the word you have to sort of have faith really and say well i appreciate that it's not a flesh tone mm. but you have to sort of you have the faith that um the flesh tone will once it you know will sit over the top of it great for people doing oils and acrylics sometimes you have to squint your eyes up a bit as well who was it used to say i can't do that it was somebody at the at the art group mm. i always used to say what you need to do i think it might be mary I don't know what you need to do is mm. squint your eyes or you know just squint your eyes out and you can you'll get to see the too far the different 
shadows and tones that you you know for the the mid-tone areas and that you can't see the darks and then i started to say there's a if you get a, a piece of glass and paint it black and look at the reflection of the subject in the black in the glass that does the same thing creates tonal value it doesn't there's no there is there's no real color but what there is 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 the tone the neutral tones which is what we're trying to uh, look for here sort of well we're just marking them in really okay. i'll just put a bit on the eyes i think i was i was doing it the other day like this and like you, sometimes and it's you will get that feeling you get so far and you think Do you know what i like it like that yeah. <laughs> just with the the diff, you know just the monotone mm -hmm. image but, you, but all i'm doing is looking i've actually using my um pencil lines that i put in sat in front of the flipping computer <laughs> as a guide i just you call it shadow the plan or the as i say the object of the of it all is really to find is what i'm trying to find is a a dirty dirty dirt method <laughs> of painting portraits but I, I started doing this yesterday on that I'll put a bit there where his hair is um, doing it yesterday and I, I thought mm, it's all very nice it's a good but it looks like a a normal a watercolour portrait and I thought no that's not the right thing to say Dave <laughs> but I know what I mean it's it looked like someone else's the sort of traditional watercolour portrait which I didn't really want to do it's really difficult what well, I'm going to, to explain what I'm on about half the time <laughs> a bit of burnt umber here <laughs> and blue give me a really dark and I'm going to add some of that purpley mix to it so I want to get a darker shade of what I've been making but they're still neutral because because his I want to make more of a statement of his eyebrows um, one way um, this another option to make I'll do it anyway to make it dark make it make this color dark is to add green to it if you introduce green hence the reason for the oh my gosh i soaked the um paint uh sprayed the palettes last night and it's they're more hydrated than they were <laughs> than they were before what I do is I put a little bit of that I'm starting to call it suicide red now because every time I touch it every time you know every time I just put my brush anywhere near it it just goes whoosh but the object what I'm waffling on about is if you add a bit of green to it you'll, it it tones it down you know changes it mm. darker and it retains that sort of neutralness then you can't have one after lunch as well, eh? I'll put a bit in there while it's wet. The trouble is you want it to um, stay fairly wet because we like those blends, don't we? It's almost too much there. As I say, that, the green bit is good for me because I've got this thing about Dot in the eye with green as a base colour. Maybe it's the astronomer in me coming out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Still I'm still sticking with these um brushes though. So I can't remember the name of the guy now. It was some um cool. Find me. It's on the tip of my tongue, maybe. Oh, it's gone there. But he was Deller, Keith Deller, I think his name was. I know it's Deller because of, I, I remember the um, the dark player. That's how I was remembering his name. It's a Deller. And uh, he introduced me to these brushes from Rosemary and Co. Um, they're called Evergreen. They're, they're basically oil brushes, brushes for painting oil paints. But I don't know why. They work really well. They've got a, a nice stiffness about them for doing all, for doing watercolors, and I don't know. Just lately, I've as I'm painting, I can hear it making a noise on the mm. on the board, and I quite like the sound of it. <laughs> it's like it's like you're actually, I can hear it going. Yeah. I, I, I like that sound. It, it makes me feel like I'm an artist. Oh, ah, I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm sort of. What's I do? Oh, I sat here the the other night watching uh, something on the idiot's lantern, and I could hear a tick. A, a little click, a little noise. God, does that ever annoy people? I couldn't believe it. I'm just making this shadow side a bit, a bit more pro, pro, prominent. Ought to put some in his lips. Yeah, there was this flipping tick. And you know what? When you hear a sound like that, you think, oh, God, what, what is that? So I haven't got a clock. Ticking clock. Is it a mouse? <laughs> Something in the wall. Then it then from that moment it suddenly moves around the room, doesn't it? Because you move <laughs> your head one way and you th you think it's there. You move your head the other way and it's oh, no, it's over there. It's the radiator clicking. You know, <laughs> so you stick your head near the radiator, can't hear nothing. Anyway, I I kind of gave up in the end. I thought, oh, I haven't got a clue. Maybe it'll disappear. Then I thought, oh, in the morning, I, I couldn't. I haven't heard it since. So I've decided that it must have been a bit of some sort of tinnitus or something. Must have had a clicking in my head. <laughs> Work that one out. That's a nice one. She'd have asked Mel if she could hear it. No, she's downstairs. It was just up here, and I thought, mm. Could be the oh. cogs going round in your brain. If you put olive oil in your ear, it might do something. I'll do that. <laughs> I do. I put that in there quite often, actually, olive oil. That probably keeps it lubricated then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I thought, fucking out. I've got a, base, a little drum in my head. Just trying to get some more. Just to use a bit of the bit more of the blue. He who dares. It's just a fascinating for the shadow areas. Well, the darker tones. As I say, I, th I think thinking about it or reflecting on it, I think. Um, what I might do moving forward with this sort of methodology, work workflow. And I did start doing it a few weeks ago was to make the face soaking wet, you know, clean water on the face first. I don't know if this will end up like, but I don't think it's going to be like Stan Laurel. I don't know. But then again, I think about it. 
when you see people in real life, they ain't nothing like their portrait. <laughs> you know, they, sort of, they look totally different. And you think, oh, I've not met that many famous people over the years, but the ones I have, I thought, cool. They either look, oh, they look different, or they look nice, <laughs> better than they do on the telly. I don't know if I agree. On the BBC News website, I'm just going to put a bit on his, tighten up his lip. And a bit there. On the BBC website was a picture of, I don't know, I don't know who she is, Rihanna? I think she's a pop singer of some description. Mm. And she's walking, she's pregnant and she's walking around with her bump hanging out. Oh, yeah. I thought, I don't know, I, I, was th I was trying to think, do I agree with that? Do I, no, I does, it, that. does it appeal to me? I, what's the point of that? What are you doing? We know you're pregnant. What's the... It does seem to be a thing that the younger ones right. do. Mm. I mean, Excuse I know when, <laughs> when us older ladies were yeah, we had sort of smocky type things. Now they're tight thinking, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't dream of that, would you? No. You somebody will give you a mouthful in the middle of the high street if you walk downtown like that, or um, especially <laughs> in Bridgewater, blooming it. Mm -hmm. Now they, like you say, it's, it's really funny how things change. They walk among us. It's like a bling jungle out there. <laughs> One way or another. Anyway, I need to get my hair dryer. So, oh no, maybe not. Hang on. No, we'll leave that for a sec to sort itself out. And I was just looking at his jacket. It's got a sort of a in my in my mind's eye. It's got a sort of gold feel about it. So anyway, I've got a large flat wash brush here, and it's not the whopper that I bought the other day. <laughs> okay. I did Wipe find a use. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, I did find a use for it, and it was um, stretching the paper yesterday. I was using oh, it instead of, the, instead of the sponge. I was just yeah. washing everything down with um, mm. with that brush. I think that'll be the so anyway, at some point, we're going to have to get some big papers to do some big paintings. Yeah. I've got a couple of, well, there's a couple of, there's at least one commission coming up. So mm. maybe, but I'm not, but I don't think it's going to be a big one, big painting. I think it's more this size, A3. Looking forward to that. So house especially after um we did the the stone the way we painted the stone the other day by using flesh and then dropping in yellow blue bit of pink colors and then as it dried then just mix it all in with the stone it looked really good that i was really proud of that this is really good work that was um uh our friend joyce knows um charlie evans oh yes is it i because i I'm, it's funny isn't it? i subscribe to some of their youtube channels and um get a lot of uh comes up on my phone you know so and so's Oops, I'm trying to get a sort of, <laughs> believe it or not, a sort of a goldy, a golden <laughs> yellowy colour. And it's, I just put some of that suicide that red in it and it went, <laughs> once you touch, once you touch that red, it, yeah. <laughs> it was just a bit of raw, uh, raw sienna, a bit of green, and then a hint of that and it went whoosh. I thought, oh dear, I didn't swear or anything. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm just going to, because I've made it nice and wet. I'm hoping I can drop in some of this, some of it on there. 
Did it go? Oh, didn't mean that to go there. Just look for the dark bits. Put put it in the dark bits first. For now. <coughs> same. Same method as we're doing before, really. And then just use some of my shadow bits as well and add that in. It's local colour, isn't it? So that's fine. And there's a bit there where it's caught. Sure, uh, lapel. It's another thing about this, doing this Tuesday art group. I start, I have to use different words that I wouldn't use during the week. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It's not funny. Also, I struggle. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, if you don't use it, yes, use it or lose it, isn't it? And I'm, I'm not using the words very often. I was going to have a laugh earlier, and uh, when I was down, up downstairs and see Mel and said, it's over, not under, to see if she knew what the hell I was talking about. Hmm. What were you talking about? Lou Roll. Oh, right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely got to be over. It's really annoying when you get there. <laughs> Somebody's done. I'm just adding a bit of um, ultramarine here. Someone's done it. It's like, what? It might look like I'm mucking about, but I'm actually <laughs> looking at the the photo. Oops, I'll move it down a bit. I'm actually looking at the photo and just um, painting dark, looking for the dark areas. And gradually, because I made it soaking wet. Well, not soaking wet, it's not a technical term. I made it wet with clear water first. I'm just dropping the colour in using this big brush where where I think the dark dark areas are. And it's just the usual blue, burnt umber with some of that um, purpley neutral tone that we that I've been using every, on the face. I thought I'd just try and build them up. Okay. I've got a, a plan. And once that's dried back in a while, crocodile, then I'm just going to use just raw sienna and put a, a wash of raw sienna over the over the um, the whole area just to um, hopefully bring it back. I've changed my brush to a, this round one with a view of... Um, but practicing what, I've, what, what I was preaching just now, I've just added a little bit of green into that, into that dark, just to... Remember the, um, it's a good, yeah, it's got a, nice a good reminder from um, what, we, what I've said in the past when I did that colour wheel about complementary colours. Mm. And where's it gone? It's always, I always, uh, I don't flash it around very often, but it's always here relatively close and it's always about complementary colour is the one that you use to make create a shadow. So if you paint an apple, the complementary colour is somewhere in the green for your shadows. So the complementary becomes the shadow. So it's a good one to remember. So if you're using violet, use a introduce yellow to make the shadow. So, so What's the word? Um, a recap. 
funny how I've, all these for the last ooh, quite a lot of weeks now i haven't changed palette at all <laughs> i've stuck with this um i'm relying on the um, raw sienna later that's gonna put a bit of a golden glow back in this failing that he looks a bit like well you know, i nearly said it's a bit a bit like a clang, but then again, yeah. that's probably the right thing to to have it. As I say, don't know about the background, Carol. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah. Hold well, on. if you've got um, what I would suggest um, was sepia or something along those lines i've left all that clear because i don't want it to there's a few bits there i could lift out actually just drop that there for a sec it's that flat brush one beauty watercolor isn't it we can just lift, it, lift some of our highlights back out If you can find them. Just lift it back out, which is nice because it always leaves a, a nice residue of tone from the color that you've put on. Looking at his, hmm, his jacket, I think I could go even more. It's all about shapes, just trying to find shapes. Mm. Now, for his hat, I'm just going to, I've decided this morning, it's all about fun, because we're, even though he looks sad, he's funny, isn't he? Mm. So I'm going to make it, gonna, well, I think, well, I'm positive that Every time you pick up a pick a subject to paint, it's a whole new adventure every time. I never, I keep saying I'm trying to work out a workflow for X, Y, Z. I don't think I'll ever. Every time you start a picture, you do it different. I never, I, I can't think of. They were painting the same flipping thing twice or the same way. Especially when people say, can you paint me one of those? And you think, hmm. <laughs> I love that beach up painting. Can you do me one? And they were never the same. Never managed to achieve that. I hope this brush has got a nice edge to it. As a, I'm thinking felt. Mm. Now I'm thinking, what do I, I, I haven't got black in my palette. So the only color of, the only way I know of doing it, yeah. or I recall that it was burnt, burnt umber and blue. To drop that in. Using the big brush, I'm hoping that I'll get oops, some sort of run or blending of the colors on them. Sometimes, uh, quite often, if you, you get a bit, I don't know, of the the subject area, like the hat or whatever, that doesn't quite. Um, oh, blimey, that's quite nice. Doesn't quite um, fill up with paint because the brush, you know, isn't quite got that fine point on it. It doesn't really matter because if you just leave, you can either get a thin brush while it's damp and just sort of nurture it across, or just leave it until it's dry. 
and then when it's dry you can do the same thing um, I'm sort of imagining that there's a there's a line of some description there so mm. you know a brim of the hat oh that's another word I have never used that from <laughs> brim of a hat well, I forgot what the other one was now but it was quite interesting Lapel. Lapel, brim. Lapel, brim. There's, there's, no, there's absolutely no stopping me today. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the next thing I was, well, on that theme, while I'm, while I've got that colour, I'm going to do the same to his, um, I think that jacket's dried a bit, the same to his sticky. Sticky bow, put some green on. It'll be forever Christy, Chrissy's green, you know that. Mm. It wasn't for, if it wasn't for. Some of those old watercolors, I would never have considered using it. But I must admit. Looks green and a bit of that viridian seems to be quite popular in my palette at the moment. Well, like I said, it's such a nice colour for shadows. Essential, isn't it, really? And I've still got this dark. The white spots I'm not fussed about. I'm going to put them in with... Um, white paint later which is annoying really because I actually sat down yesterday and um, counted them and drew them properly it was like <laughs> yeah there's two there one two three four and then I thought go down if you go yeah. if you look at it they go in a line across that way one two three one two three four and now I've spoiled that all about disappointed i'm despondent now <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not happy basil happy basil yes dear the samaritans were engaged i'm getting bored with saying that <laughs> that was key from the market at wimble market he used to say that every sunday morning because um he'd be uh, I think he was doing it to take the mick out of his missus, uh, Frankie, who was a lovely lady, very whatever. And I think he'd, he'd do it just to wind her, wind her up. He's the biggest wind-up merchant, apart from me, that I ever knew. Uh, right, next thing. Get the hair. I'm going to hair dryer it for a sec. And then... Carol's going to give me a tip on doing the background. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's find the hair dryer first. There he is. There it is. Come on over here. So I'm sure I haven't seen him paint anything because it looks so it's painted. Mm, it doesn't look yeah. Oh, then there's better one. Still good. Put that in there because you can't go. Yeah. What I would do is put a complete wash over the whole paper and get it slightly darker there. Yeah. You know, I mean, just yeah. that side there, that put shadow. <coughs> But I'll cover the face to start with. Mm. Just take it out and darken the edges. Mm. Just there and there. So you're drawing a sepia, draw it in sepia on top of a sepia background. Mm. I think it would be quite nice to do it in sepia. I might have a go. Mm. 
Wah. I said it before. I know you didn't. <laughs> That's why I chose that picture, not the other one. Because yeah. he had the... another picture. Yeah, we've got that. Right. Uh, Actually, thinking about it, time is a bit of a premium, isn't it? That picture in his no. No. Well, uh, another bucket here with some cleaner water in it. What? So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to... Some clean water. Just mix up a nice bit of skin tone. Um, just for a change, what I'll do, not everybody's got flesh in their palate, we'll uh, mix some up. Let's take the. Don't go to it, it's just put soup in on it. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all right. I'll just um, mix some up, a bit of raw sienna, and some suicide pink. Careful. Or in my colour, it's, <laughs> in my world, it's rose madder. Gives you a nice tone. But remember what I said the, um, last week was... Um, if you want, let me think which one to use. I'll use that palette there. Just wipe the. These are all the good colours that I'm going to need in a minute, I reckon. It's okay, we'll just mix some more up. But if you want to make that colour, flesh colour, lighter or tone it down, take, it, take a pool of it into another palette and add some water to it. Yeah? So now you've got tones of the, the original colours, bulky or heavy. You want to thin it out. So take a bit of that and add some water to it in another pot. Hey, okay? Eureka. <laughs> um, I think I might stick with this. Ah, it's not as dry as I thought. Never mind. Anyway, we'll drop we'll drop some of this flesh in now. One, two. See what happens. I don't mind if it runs. Come on, Stan. We'll just drop some of these. Some tone. Add some flesh to the bones. Some tone to the. What I was doing yesterday, that's a good thing about watercolours, was uh, adding the, the flesh tone is, tones in. And then, because the right-hand side is so, it's no blooming colour in it. It's almost white, just white light. was just sort of going back, back over with my brush and lifting it off. Yeah, that's not too bad. But you can see what, what we're trying to achieve is where I put those shadow tones right at the start, that neutral tint, neutral tones, is that they form the, mm. if you like, the shady part of the, of the portrait. Hmm, quite like that. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But like I said um, earlier, from the one that I did, yeah, when I was, I wasn't a proper painting, I was just tantalizing, um, experimenting with myself yesterday. When I finished it, even though I know my sketch was good, it st I still thought to myself, do you know what? It's really not easy to get a, a spot on picture of, you know, a portrait to look like yeah. exactly how you want it. And I'm noticing already where I've put pencil lines, they're spoiling it. Mm. So not 
well, spoiling is not the right term, but at some point we're going to have to rub the mat. Yeah. But it, if, from a distance, if I looked at that later on, as they will, I would go, oh, wow, that's Stan, that's Stan, that's Stan, Stan the man. So as long as you get um, a feel for the, the process, you can build on it. so much highlight on this picture it's it's difficult to put too much um color on the more i put on the, the worse it's becoming i think my stand's looking a bit younger than that mm -hmm. maybe but if you want to mix up some more of that shade just add some of that blue into our flesh tone and you'll get a shadowy um, mix back. But looking at it, it's um, definitely more shadow going on here. You see why portraits take so long mm. or, or warrant the extra um effort because you you do you do a bit and you'll come back tomorrow and think cool that's too dark that needs um you know I've, I've overcooked that i need to soften that down um but i must admit i'm really chuffed with doing them like this. It's been a long, longish journey. And it ain't in and over yet by a long short. Because the, the thing is, once you've worked out, a, once you've got a little workflow, you, you can get to a certain point, a certain um, stage in the picture that okay it's not 100 percent perfect blah 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 blah. how you feel you could do better but you've gone but it's progress you've gone from where you were earlier and, and before and, and you've also now got a a rhythm a a method to get to that stage and from here it's from then on it's just adding more to it i think i might put a bit of tone in his just a little bit over here it's insane it's where you become an artist by looking at it and thinking, oh, I don't know, it needs a little bit of tone over there. The problem is, well, one of the issues with the, being doing it in watercolour is that um, it's nice to, as I'm always saying, to walk away and come back a an hour or so later, or even an, I know the next day is always good. But a couple of hours later, something happens. They magically dry. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> See that red? I only touched the brush. This is a rigger. There's no hairs on it. I just touched it. And the the raw sienna turned into a <laughs> bottle of tomato ketchup. All I wanted to do was put a little bit of redness on this lip. One um, 
thing I did discover was um, with the green, if you include a little bit of green in the dark colour that you make, like the burnt amber and the blue, add a little bit of green in it, even the turquoise or the light blue. It's good for nostrils, apparently. <laughs> it's a very good, because it's a shadowy colour, isn't it? Mm. Or that's what, what it's become. And it works really, you know, apparently. I've been experimenting with it. It kind of works. So everything's... Ooh. What I'm looking for. What I did. Oh, I spent money. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell everyone. This <laughs> is a triple O uh sable posh brush. Yep. And the reason reason was it's almost for look at it. It's only got half an air on it. <laughs> <laughs> But the idea was for doing people's eyes. That's the only reason it, I bought it. So mixing up that dark colour for the nose equally, using my little brush with no hairs on, <laughs> means I can just add a little bit of subtlety to, to that. To um, lips, apart from that, I'm blind to bat and I can't really see anything. <laughs> Nostrils, but it gives you that extra thing. For years, I've resisted, never thought I'd ever what? buy one of them blooming miniature things you have. I don't know. And here I am <laughs> having a go with it. And uh, anyway, you can fondle, fondle your way around with. So that adding that green, oh, just stuck my hand in something wet. You're painting, Dave. Yeah, but adding that little bit of green gives you a really nice darks and. Uh, yeah, something to ponder and play with, but I'm doing it a bit too early, really. You normally do this um, towards the end. Well, finalising, isn't it? Adding some extra detail here and there. That this air, this eye here, if anything, needs. I can't, I'm a bit loath to it. It's, it's going to be a bit hard to do. So I need to lift a little bit off, colour off from the bottom. Trouble is, he's squinting this, this eye out so much. He looks like Chinese. <laughs> I'm aware of it. But at least with this, this little hairy brush, if you want some eyelashes, it's like being a bit of a makeup artist. You can stick a few in, just flick them up, just flick the colour that's there, just flick it up, give it some sort of realism. What's going to say? Ah, if I get my, a really, I was going to say a dry tissue now. Dry tissue out of um, straight out of the box, clean water on the brush. Just make the area that I'm going to lift damp, and just put the edge of the brush, the straight edge of the paper over it. Lifted it up a bit. As I say, normally I do it leave it to dry big time and then I can you can just you haven't got to worry about the other bits 
It's all about subtlety now. Deciding on where you want to put some flesh. Because we put the shadows, we've got them, we've established those. We, pen we used our pencils to drop them in. So all we've got to do now is underline the, the shadows with some flesh tones, mm. which is what I've got up here. Still, it was a stronger bit of flesh, wasn't it? So I'm just adding it in. Hmm. There's a there's a term a technical um, term for painting uh, portraits in this sort of way. I can't remember what it is. It's Giselle or something like that. It's, it's foreign anyway. Like what they do. Um, yeah, quite pleased working and I've still got the little bit of um, blue left up here in the palette so if I want to mix up a little bit more of the shadow tone all I've got to do is nick a bit of the overripe flesh that, I, that I've got here and I can just add it in I think um Looking at it, this line comes down here, and there's a distinct straight shadow tone going here. I'm going to attempt to improve on. Might work, might not. Definitely, there's a distinct line. Just add a little bit more of the blue. I'm not worried if it goes dead straight because I'll just add a bit of water when it's dry and, and soften it down the other side so it'll just blend across. You know, this sort of, if I put water over there, then it will just blend it over something along those lines just let that move it along it's trouble watercolor well one of the things rather than I keep saying trouble it's not trouble it's one of the things with watercolor you constantly playing with water moving it around clean water on the brush put a little bit of paint on and just sort of Soften it across. I'm not going to do much more to that now. What do you look like? Mm, it's good, good. The, other, the only thing I haven't done, um, I'll do the background. Oh, look at that. Splash. Blish, splash, splash. Splash me brush. But it's all set up now, isn't it? It's um, mm. for... Um, as it softens down, we could add some um, get some of our permanent white and blend some of these soften you know soften some of these bits down and maybe push his eyes up. I haven't put a pupil in yet uh, or a reflection which is going to, using this new fan wonder brush, triple O, triple zero. I can't remember where I bought it in the end. I think that was from the, they're called Great Art, Carol. <coughs> Great Art, isn't <coughs> it? Or something like that. No, 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 <coughs> Ken Bromley. That's where I bought the, But you can just stick a. It's still a bit white, a uh, bit white, bit damp, but using it straight out of the tube, you can just 
stick stick this brush, dab it in the tube, and then just decide where you want the a little bit of reflection, and it changes the <gasps> too much, but maybe that yeah. now he's turned evil. <laughs> <laughs> told you it was damp then I too wet that's fine but we can lift it up and then later on um, when things dry off we can equally just tighten up with some 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 white as well I'm looking at it I think I could um just cheat, add a little bit of my flesh tone. It's got like a little bit of white there. I think this eye could be a little bit smaller as well. I'm squinting that one up as well. Go on. Yeah. Just add a little bit of my... I'm lucky I've got that flesh tone in there. What do they call it? Naples flesh, I think it is from... St. Petersburg but this could go on for hours just sort of <laughs> putting a bit in thinking oh, don't know about that, and then adding a bit more but you can appreciate what we've got so mm. I dry that off what time are we, are we alright? Yeah, right, no early bath yet um one of the things I did say was when it's dried, I wanted to. And I stood up again there. It's funny when you do those little detail bits, you tend to like sit down. Um, was to use some raw sienna on this jacket. Ooh. Maybe it's quite a strong colour of raw sienna, so I might be edging down the wrong path. Just thought it needed maybe so I'll make this side wet first I think <laughs> instead of going neat straight out of the out of the jam jar jam jar where did I get that from oh, God. <laughs> you're so I've got a packet of jam donuts for my birthday. <laughs> Three jam donuts downstairs. Well, I've eaten one, so there's two. But I'm not going to... I don't think I'll eat the others. You're going to have too much of a good thing. Mm. I've got this um, stiffer brush here, so... Anywhere I want. And a few more. This is the fun bit. If you've done the you've done your homework using the pencil. So now you can just try and find some texture, depth, call it what you like. Still a bit darker over there, I think. Because that's our shadow in there. Make them laugh, Stan. Make them laugh. Mm. As I say, I'm not planning on making a living from painting. But I quite, I don't know about you guys, but I, I actually quite enjoy, I find it, it's a bit like doing a crossword, isn't it? Um, that's wrong, don't like that. Um, like doing a crossword puzzle using a a black and white image and turning it into into a color portrait. Mm. I think it's just so such a nice thing to do. I've got no, I've done it. Every time I, it's got a little thumb hole to put your thumb in, <laughs> but I never do. I put my thumb over the white oh. over that one there. So either I've got to not use that thingy. Right, the next, um, I'm going to turn it upside down a sec. Use the mop. 
rather than the, the mop being nice for this. I'm not going to go near his face. I'm going to steer clear of that. Just clean water. I think it just dropped on it. Oh, God. Dribbled. Nice bit of clean water here. <clears throat> Tickle in my throat. Don't want that. I'll just go in that bit. And what colour did we say? If you've got any um yeah, I was just gonna say if you've got sepia in your palette, use it. But I haven't. <gasps> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to use um, that little bit of turquoise blue that was over there. Let's see what happens. Add that. It's on the it's on the mop brush anyway, so we want it to start over this side. Might have to turn it. I'm going to wash my brush out and then just use a very light wash of that colour and let it flow around. As I say, I don't want it to go too far into this, into these features because they're still a bit damp. But it's just a to show what I, what I think we could do with it. Perhaps add a little bit of raw sienna as well, while it's still damp. Give it that, because it's on his jacket. Might also give it a little bit more um, of a sepia feel and then turn it on its side and hope that it doesn't all run all over the face. Do <laughs> you dare say? I turn it around that side. It should run down. Mm. Well, what I'm, what I'm trying to get are the lines. If I turn it on its side, I'll, I'll get some little lines coming through. Little shadow lines on there. They're not like an easy. Let's get a bit nice and bright. And getting in a mess here. Nicer sized brush, right? Just to what mop that up. Mop it up and let it run at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, you can do this. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Just let that run. I'm not too fast if it... That do. Because I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll make, make the year darker later. Just add a bit more into that. Meantime, tissue in my hand, any serious blobs of water, just lift them all. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I think I preferred it white. <laughs> just lift it off. Pretend you're doing sky. <laughs> Use a flat brush. As I say, it's always going to be a bit of a... But... I'm going to say a grey area, but it's not as a don't know, is it? We're never quite 100% sure what we're going to get on that. Yeah, I don't mind. we got Ollie to do next. Oh, well, not next, at some point. 
bit annoying, really, because um, it's I'm not planning on doing it right anytime, you know, right after this. But I, in a ideal world, I would you do it one after the other because it's the palette's the same, which is is nice to have same tonal value on both of them. Not sure. Um, and then at some point, maybe I won't do them all today, but at some point uh, when it's dried back, I can put a few white dots on his doodle, <coughs> on his dicky bag. As I say, the um, if you look at it, if you look at it, they actually do go in a sort of organised line, disorganised, organised line. You can just stick a few on. Not so many over there. It's because of the way it's folded, isn't it? It's, I've got one somewhere. Put it on at some point. When I go to some, somewhere to wind someone up. That do. I think his, um, his eyes dried back a bit now, so I'm going to... Uh, stick an extra bit in just for now there you go he's looking at you with his beady eye mm. the, the thing is I mean well it's a great it's a gift it's really because in um Little while's time, this will dry totally. It'll have a total different feel to it. It will dry back. And there'll be areas that um, and I've got pencil lines to rub out as well. Well done. I'm really chuffed with that. Mm, so well good. done. Mm. <laughs> And I like it because his hat is right up high and it looks like it's almost coming off. <laughs> like he's, if he stuck his hand up went and lifted it, it would sort of wobble a bit. And I like that. I say I'll, I'll do some more work around it later, but the basic structure is there now, which mm. I'm dead chuffed with. Um, yeah. Just getting the drawing right, isn't it? <laughs> That's the hardest bit. Yeah, I think that's why I like using the, um, you know, just using a little grid. And and to be quite honest, you don't need to do um, a grid over the whole thing, just on the bit that you focused on. So if you did a, a grid of, um, let me see. If you just did a, a small grid of, do it on here, right? And, um, if you did a, a grid of say three by three just in the middle mm -hmm. then looked at your picture you can get it really good so I do it and then don't worry about the rest of it once you and I was talking to a guy there or watching a guy the other day uh, Mark Entwistle who's a of all brilliant portrait pit artist and what he said he does he doesn't use grids or any of that sort of thing he paints an eye or sketches sorry he sketches an eye first yeah. and from that eye he sketches the other eye and then the and gradually builds out from one eye that might be um, easier, mightn't it? Than what I'm doing. I haven't tried it, but I, I thought 
I don't think I haven't deliberately tried it, but I'm pretty sure in the past that's how I would have done it anyway. Which is how mm. I'm always saying um, about um, landscapes and buildings, isn't it? I'm always saying, well, whatever you do on one portion, uh, one, one bit of the roof line, if you did a bit of a roof or a chimney, then look at it and say, well, the next chimney and the next house is that far away. And then you just add bits to it and gradually do it that way. The start mm. you look at that window and think no that window shouldn't be there as to the distance between that is that and that line you just got to keep doing that you gradually build it up but um yeah i'm quite chuffed with that i think i've got color balance right and um a little bit of once it's dried back a little bit of yes. um tidying up a little bit of rigor work Lift off some more of the whites. I haven't quite captured the um, like I'm going to poo myself look that you, but I'll I'll do some more on around there. I think because it's the lip that needs to be a little bit longer or a little bit whatever. But you know, I know what it looks like, and I and I'm pretty sure I can get that. It's just a matter of just adding a few little shadowy bits here and there. Just um, just looking at the flipping picture, really. And sometimes it's not adding, as I say. So um, if you look at it, it's going to sometimes it's lifting bits off, looking for highlights and just lifting them off, pulling them off. In Christine's case with acrylics, it's not, it's the opposite. She's looking for highlights and then splatting them on with a dollop of white. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, just the old dollop. <laughs> yeah, just a dollop it on. Oh, well, okay. I think this contorted face is another Mr. Bean style challenge, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Let's see yeah. how we get on. Mm. Oh, well, we can, <laughs> can only but try, can't we? <laughs> yep. Secret is to have fun, isn't it? Um, I mean, yeah. Don't take too much pressure. I think, on reflection, looking at it now, I, I would say, bear, um, think about. What I just said about the trying, if you can get some of that expression on his around his lip, I need mm. to just tighten that up. But um, yeah, I'm okay. Once I pencil, rub out those pencil lines around his around his eyebrow there, and uh, a few other little tidy ups. I love his jacket. Oh, oh and a jacket mm. like that. Yeah, good, <laughs> isn't it? Well, remember what you did now for colours. <laughs> Uh, at least it's recording. <laughs> um, okay. So, I'm paranoid about that one. That's um, <laughs> you know, get to sort of just as it finishes at Tuesday's lunchtime and think, oh my god. <laughs> um, well, it's okay if you like painting the same thing twice just to get and it'll always be a time when there's um someone else joined that you know not regular not one of the regular like jennifer or the other lady <laughs> where you you feel obliged you know you've got to do a video for them yeah oh, i think that's a good one that yeah great challenge for an hour and i mean yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, pretty handsome, if you ask me. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what mine would turn out like. <laughs> I think we've all got this in mind. Yeah. <laughs> will be totally the, different. the message is to use that, to try that technique, you know, break it down into looking at the picture and saying, right, what? You know, you can squint your eyes out or just look at it objectively and think that's a shadow, that's a, mm. that's a dark shadow, 
that's a mid shadow that's a light shadow so hence the reason if you pick out if you create that you know blue raw sienna uh, burnt sienna mix or purpley shadow color for us or as um, mm. just now use earlier use um terry's shadow yeah. color yeah. and that that'll act as a base to put in those shadow tones bearing in mind that what you see at that point isn't what you're going to end up with yeah. what you're going to do later when it's once once that's dried is to drop in the skin tone afterwards to bring the flesh back because if you think about people uh human skin and flesh underneath it's blue oh. yeah all your veins all that stuff is blue that's oh, where yeah. it comes that's where it's stemming from if you so that's where back, the blue blood comes in is it <laughs> well <laughs> it, it definitely is and, and i think and i and that doing it that way works just as well for any skin tone it's so not racial. You, yeah. So do you put you put the shadow on? So do you put another colour on before the flesh colour? I can't remember what you did now. Yeah, you'll have to watch the video now then. No, <laughs> exactly what I just said. You, oh, <laughs> yeah. you get the concentrate on the, the shadow. Start off with shadows. your nice drawing and just put a, a thin pencil line where you think the shadows are just to remind you where they are but you don't have to but then look at your picture and mm. say right the shadows that's in shadow or they, that's a tone round the side of his nose the eye sockets they're always they've always got it um just look at it if i look at christine right now she's got shadow tone down by <laughs> her nose under her glasses she's yeah. You know, <laughs> just, uh, maybe I, I'm digging a hole here. Stop. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the left hand side of, you know, the, and you can, if you just use that, that little violet y, new, it's just a new, it doesn't have to be that. It could be any, uh, any color. Yeah. color that you want, really. But I think. It's got to be neutral, which is what a grey, browny, uh, purpley grey, which is what you get with those burnt sienna and mm. ultramarine. You mix it up and if you, it automatically, I've always said, you, know, you get a million myriad color, uh, tones of uh, grey, but they're not grey. They, some of them got a little bluey feel to them, some of them, have, and that works really well. And just yeah. build up with that. And then once it, you can either drop some flesh in if you want, you know, to make a statement early, but you can equally let it do what I did today. I dried it off mm. and then mixed up a, a strong flesh tone using raw sienna and me pink, <laughs> <laughs> suicide pink, and then put my brush in that and put it in another palette and add your water to it to give me a, a diluted or a, 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 a lesser hue, a, a weaker um, tone of that, and then mm. use that first. Then I could go back to the the thicker one that I've mixed up originally and drop that into that as well. Right. <laughs> Not, it ain't it isn't that hard, is it? Really, when you it's just da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay right guys i'm gonna have to go so yes okay then we'll see sweet. have hey. fun hey I'm yeah. gonna, we're gonna have an early lunch yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's for the first 12. <laughs> nice hmm. one, yeah. oh, we did, i did start painting earlier today as well yeah that's good mm. oh, so, really good very good yeah Thanks. looking forward to the sun yeah, yeah. I think yeah so. see, um, see what we all come up with. <laughs> moving forward, I'm not sure what next week's is, but I know I've been poaching some um, beachy sunset ones. Oh, right. I think we might do a couple of those um, every other week for a while. Maybe do, I think there's about three or four I've got, yeah. and they're, they're quite, I think. Be nice to it, um, the photographer 
photography group, they've put on some fabulous beach sunsets this last week. They've been so good, the sun, sunsets. Yeah. Mm. That's right. um, Jonathan, my mate Jonathan, is, he's been out over Paul Arbor getting them and that. I thought, mm. yeah, they're great. Yeah, well, there's some really nice ones. But it's, it, mm. um, it's nice doing these portrait the things and the still life which really tax you in a way you know it's, it's, you've got to really work on them but yeah. I thought it'd be nice to get um, a few sunsets or a few sky thingies in mm. not because I bought that big whopping brush <laughs> <laughs> I want to show off now yeah actually in, on, reflect, on reflection I shouldn't have bought the big one I should have bought the smaller one <laughs> They do a small of a two inch. And we say, well, we can't do that because we haven't got that brush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, my excuse anyway. Apparently. I'm going yeah. to have to disappear too. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just going, I really must go. Yeah. It's nice to chat, but I've got things to do. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, Thank you. Well, Bye. 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 See you guys. Yeah, thanks very Bye. much, Dave. Bye. 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 Okay. I don't mind. Hello. What I've been doing lately is recording our intros and outros and whacking them on the end of the video, if you notice. <laughs> so we're a good boy now. Okay. No, mm. Whatever you like. It goes on to the end. So any strangers looking. Won't get quite so. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be put off, you mean? <laughs> Scratching your head, then. What? <laughs> what? Oh, there's a bloke there with loads of guitars on. What's all that about? There's a dialect in the corner. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what's it all about? A different dimension. What if you want to paint in Stan Laurel? <laughs> or was it Misty? <laughs> yeah, I've started my picture already. Oh, <laughs> very good. We don't class digital art as art. You do realise that. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, maybe. We'll have to run some escapade and trip to hospital, Gordon. I've had uh, Debbie in hospital all day yesterday. She had a mini heart attack. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and was saying about that, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. But... Did they find out it was a heart attack in the end, though? She's got an appointment with the... Well, she's waiting for an appointment with the cardiologist. She had five ECGs, and each one showed up abnormal. Um, blood tests were OK. Um, scans were OK. So she doesn't know. No. Just got to wait and see. She's got to have an aspirin, take aspirin every day until she sees the specialist. Yeah. So... I never know, do you? You just never know. No. I, think well, I was trying to be rude yesterday when I said, because you said she was in hospital and waiting and waiting, and I said, well, if you're going to wait anywhere, that's the place to have to wait. Well, it is, well, definitely. Yeah. It's absolutely. proved a waste, waste, waste of time with that. And last, last weekend, we went to A&E, and uh, they did uh, blood tests, x-rays, and another test. Uh, but uh, come to the conclusion there was nothing wrong with her. So they sent her home. And this weekend, she's been again, and they've decided she's got a chest infection, and they've given her some antibiotics. <clears throat> and we both got the same chest infection, actually. So she's in the, in the don't know pile. Oh. Or not sure pile. We're going we're gonna to contact you later and sort you out, yeah. Send, mm -hmm. send her out twice. Yeah. That's what they did with Debbie. Yeah. Uh, it's terrible, really, isn't it? Well, I've got no faith in it whatsoever, no. And my David's got COVID again. Yeah. It's a disaster, isn't it? Is he all right? He's got a bad sore throat and splitting headache. Uh, but that was yesterday. I don't know. I haven't heard from him today. Yeah. Well, oh, give well, him a bad wish, won't you? Here she is. Morning, Anne. We can hang in without being seen. <laughs> Have a go. Run. No, you can't get in. <laughs> I was watching um, 
<laughs> our, um, House of Commons yesterday afternoon, and I noticed a lot of the Tories back to normal without a mask on and that. I am turning it away from you, my this dear. Morning, I, I, Liz Trust was on the front bench. <laughs> She's, she's in isolation already. So I was thinking at the Morning. time, I thought it would be great. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Dozens and dozens of them. Can't see you, Carol. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, dear. Oh, I've just got a blank screen. I don't know why. Um, there you go. What do I do? Press. Uh... <laughs> I just sent you a thing saying open. Yeah. Video. Right. Right. Hello. 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 All right. Hello. The gang's all here. Yeah. Go on, jump. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never forget that. Westover Road in the middle of the summer, a bloke at the top of the. the the, uh, Excuse me, I'm, I'm going to make a cup of tea. Anybody want one? Oh, oh, yeah, I've yeah, got mine. Large, large one, please. Large <laughs> oh, one, okay. Uh, you don't want to go some cake. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. You're missing your cake, Pauline. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess not. After New Year. It's not the same, is it? Oh. Cake and glasses, After man. Year, it should be. Can't see. Winding down. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I'm going to be missing my biscuits today because um, whoever was uh, picking our shopping uh, decided that they didn't have rich tea biscuits and they couldn't substitute anything else. Oh, oh. oh you're lucky you didn't get a bunch of carrots or something. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's true, yes. But on the other hand, I'd have preferred something rather than yeah. nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it's just strange, isn't it? Oh dear, do you think you yeah. think of all the biscuits that you see in Sainsbury's? You know, yeah. there's rows and rows of them. But yeah. however, no, but they're obviously thinking about my diet. It's <laughs> not it's because it's rich tea. There is no substitute. They probably they're not they they use um computer <laughs> data help help yourselves. No, no. Ah. The resources. <laughs> and they tea, probably yeah. discovered that the one thing that they do not replace with anything else. Without ten minutes of complaints, <laughs> is rich tea biscuits. <laughs> there isn't yeah. a, there isn't a substitute, is there? People are really funny about rich tea biscuits. All uh, right. Well, I, I was I only having them because um, I was previously having custard creams, and apparently <gasps> they've got higher calories. So of course, oh, yeah. you know, rich tea. Yeah. Oh, marginally Ooh. less. <laughs> um, uh -huh. I'm, I don't. I, no, I stopped eating those a long time ago. They're they're really bad. <laughs> Custard cream. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But even mm -hmm. then, I was fussy about them. Had to be the proper ones, not the ones that you get in a pound shop and all that lot. They were horrible. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Chinese import custard creams. Oh no! <laughs> Talking about biscuits, does anyone remember gypsy creams? Oh, oh yes. No. What's that? Oh, they were nice. They were nice. Were mm. they like a sort of a, a chocolatey, almost yeah. chocolatey, but not chocolatey? Mm. Mm. The, there was, they were round and, and they were brown and they had an absolutely oh. dreamy, creamy filling. Yeah. I, oh. used to, <laughs> I used to get into trouble because I didn't like the biscuit, but I used to like the cream and I used to lick the cream <laughs> <laughs> and not eat the biscuit. Oh. <laughs> but the cream was yeah. lovely. Uh, all these empty biscuits in the tin oh, with no I cream. I told you a thousand no, I didn't times. put them back. <laughs> and I, the girlfriend I had years ago, and she worked for the chicken factory at um, Never Stowey out in the country, you know, the egg laying farm. And uh, once a day, every so often they sent, well, every day someone had to go out and get the jam donuts. And her trick was to stop the car halfway back from the bakers and suck all the jam out of the donut. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. You imagine, I mean, if you, if you go around the donut, you find the little hole. <laughs> what a wicked thing to do. <laughs> oh, Probably got no teeth or anything. Eh? Uh -huh. oh, dear. And diabetes. Oh. It wasn't my girlfriend for long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just I just liked um 
because she I was in Bridgewater she was out in the village in Never Stowe and it was a good way of getting the driving instructor to get a longer driving lesson <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'd say couldn't go to Narrastow, he could have, you know, it's about seven, eight miles away. So I'd have that would be my driving lesson all around the country roads. <laughs> Not far. <laughs> Put in my madness. And I didn't have to catch the bus to get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was that happy about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know what? It's first of February today as well. You know, mm. okay. oh, yeah. Thank goodness okay. January's out the way. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I couldn't agree more. Oh, rubbish. It's definitely what, what? lighter in the evening, though. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. I've got to like January because that's my birthday, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. too much yeah. illness going on. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's going to happen, it with the uh, get rid of all the restrictions. <laughs> well, I don't think that made any difference to uh, my Debbie having her heart attack um, or whatever it was. But the COVID stuff is oh, COVID. right up again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 200,000 a day now. Oh, gosh. Well, David, um, like, like David, he's always, always worn a mask when he's working um, and everything, but there he, he's got it again. Mm. He hasn't even done any big events or anything lately. He's only been doing the um, supply end. So he's not been working with a lot of people at a time. But it was probably on full tip when he's doing his electrical work again. Right. Because you can't wear gloves to do no. electrical. And um, that's how he caught it the first time. Oh, gosh. Mm. Just hoping that Kat doesn't get it as well. It's her birthday next week, and they had so many plans they've had to cancel. Mm, it's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, still, worse mm. things happen at sea, as they say. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hey, should we share some pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Well, yeah, <laughs> mine was awful. <laughs> That's that like Carol. Like she, she's ah, rubbish at this painting, like she don't, you know, <laughs> don't really. She's even got writing on her bottle. Oh <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a bottle of Merlot, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's nice, Carol. Yeah. I just realised I've done one glass smaller than the other, though. But never mind. <laughs> well, that's, that's real life, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a good I wish I hadn't box. done the shutters. I got in a mess with those, but anyway. Yeah, I don't think I've I've um I've redid some of mine and I think I've actually washed them out. Yeah. Put, put them back I was looking at it, I think, oh, I don't know about the mm. lines. I'll do it again. So I just scrubbed them out. Mm. But uh, yeah. Look nice. Oh hang on. Going mm. the wrong way, yeah. <laughs> Try the other way. Oh, it's being silly now. Uh, Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Mm. They always look nice in the frames, don't them? Yeah. <laughs> they, they do look better. Crazy, yeah. this one was... Crazy, isn't it? It's the same blue in picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, that's why that like, always makes me laugh, because I... Um, Chrissy goes off, does really nice acrylic on canvas, and I come along and put it in a frame. Frame. <laughs> <laughs> I think it always looks better in a frame. It's awesome, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the canvases do. They do. Uh, oh, yeah, that was what I was going to say. Carol, that's how, it's, that's how it started off. What's it that? Like, your picture, Good picture, it came to me, and it was always like, it warped. Oh, warped? Well, look at it. It ain't exactly square, is it? Oh, no. I see what you mean. Yeah. So what, what I, so what I had to do was put it in the software and straighten it all up. Oh, right. Oh, I, yeah. I don't measure the paper. I should do. I won't, no, I'm it's just the camera. It's the oh, camera yeah. angle. It's a different yeah. angle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I stood in front of it, so I don't know. Oh, it's I difficult don't know. to judge, I know. I'm not yeah, I'm just on the, I was really put mine on the floor and do it. So I could fix it using the software. 
Yeah, it's that's good, isn't there. it? Yeah. Clever. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a clever boy. Oh. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was cool. I like that one. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, so. Chrissy didn't like it, so I, so I, I don't know why the I don't know why the <coughs> came up that pinky movie colour because I just don't know where that came from. Well, that's how it started <laughs> off. Yeah, it's got the movie colour at the top there. Mm, it's not I mean, well. You didn't like it, and I thought, well, it does look a bit bleak. So I, <laughs> so I, yeah, it does definitely look better now. There, yeah. so yeah. it up a bit. Mm. I thought I'd cheer her up. <laughs> no, I didn't enjoy that one. Not one little bit. <laughs> not it's not supposed to be all enjoyment. You're supposed to put you know, yourself and work. It's you know? Put you under yeah. pressure. It's, uh, a challenge. it's another one um, of those rubbish pictures uh, from Joyce. That's got to be yeah. that Joyce. <laughs> yeah. I just fancied a bit of colour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're very nice too. And oh, how on yeah. earth, what on earth made you think of doing two bowls? One was bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> and a broken well, window. I always think one <laughs> bottle's never enough. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, it's very good. Oh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah. It's an illustration, isn't it? It tells mm. a story and everything. Yeah. You could almost write a children's book on the basis of that. Oh, don't oh. don't start me on that. I might do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, I did try to, um, or I was, because that's before I learned how to um, tweak the um, the rhomboid or trapezium bits, change the the angles um, of framing this one as it is. You know, with the edge of the paper on but couldn't quite get it to trim down but yeah. it would have looked nice with that you know so the the frame just had the, the paper sitting <laughs> in it oh, right. just yeah. just displaying Anne's effort before the ambulance came oh is she not oh there? wow right oh she's been twice to oh. a and e yeah oh gosh so she hasn't finished her painting but she got the bottle done look Lovely. Yeah, that's very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. I can't see it. It's gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> Never mind. I can't see it. I didn't see it. I did. It was it was lovely. Oh. Pay attention. <laughs> You're gonna get it again now. <laughs> oh right. Where's he going? Yeah. Now. Oh, up a bit, up, up a bit, <laughs> up a bit. Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice. Then. Oh, that's really good. Wow. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Thank yeah. you, Dave. Well done, Anne. That's lovely. Yeah, no, it's yeah. really good. Didn't get any further, though. Oh. No. Yeah, well, it's still ten well times done. better than mine. <laughs> <clears throat> Why? Well, right. I don't think it's not a competition anyway. Oh, this was Pauline. Oh, I thought it was a, that was that's I, nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, that's You've right got the glasses. Yeah. I like the perspective as well because the window's slightly going pointing upwards, like going. Yeah, as if you're looking up at it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like Gordon knows what it's called, some sort of perspective or another. Yeah, I did Very that good. on purpose. It's no. er, it's, uh, yes. Are you sure? <laughs> Come out of a technical term like sub aerial oh, linear God. perspective. Uh, what? <laughs> I do think you've enhanced that a bit, Dave, haven't you? Mine was a bit my uh well know, was a bit came in you, came in a bit but, like that. Yeah. Do that much to it. I think it's my oh, I think what I I probably find out more. Just auto the colours, you know. Mm. But yours, I couldn't straighten it out very well. I definitely think that was a, a watercolour one. My acrylics, I just couldn't, yeah. couldn't get the mm. transparency. Yeah. It was hard. Mm. No, I, I, I'm not sure what to say about that. Don't <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you look like you put your finger in an electric socket this morning. What have you done with your hair? <laughs> 
for that. Have you got a hat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Dan didn't tell you. He's going to come back with a woolly hat on now. He's just, yeah. no, he's just, you know what he's doing? He said, Oh, he's going to oh, wet good. it down. He's going to look like Stan Laurel as well as. Yeah. <laughs> just oh, got that, was that was what it was. <laughs> he's just getting into the, the swing of it. Hmm. <laughs> And wasn't paying attention, that's all right. No. How are you feeling this morning then? I'd have slapped him if I'd seen him. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning? A little bit better, thank you, Chris, but not right. Good. Oh. Not, you're not looking like that, are you? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's got a hat on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not just any old hat. <laughs> Are we going to get a Stan Laurel hat? No, that's not a hat. That's a wigwam he's got on his head. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, this is going to be hard. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Yeah. Um... It's a Mr. Bean, isn't it? It's another yeah. one of those squiffy faces. <laughs> well, we'll have a, we'll give it a go. Um, I mean. <coughs> I did. Um, I think I'm going to try and think about because um, the light is coming from as that picture is on the right, isn't it? It's coming. There's a spotlight from the right, so try and for a change. We're going to try and remember that. <laughs> it's darker on the the shadows on the left. No, no, the number of times I've we're doing these pictures and halfway through, or not even half, right from the start, that all goes straight out the window. <laughs> Constant, you're, and with portraits, I think it's probably more most important thing, isn't it? <laughs> Deciding which side the light's coming from. Hmm. Um, I tried to do a line sketch of it. I think I... Oh, it came out a bit overpowered, I think. But it's good for, um, you know, just finding out where the details are on the face and that for when you start your painting. You can see one ear is white and the other is starting to get dark. So that confirmed that. Mm. Go for it, eh? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll, um, I've changed my microphone and... I'm back again. You're back again. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh, dear. He's got, oh. His, got his teapot on there. Hang on. Okay. Oh, I'll find a different microphone and I'll come back. How's Peter, Carol? Yeah, he's not too bad, not too bad. He's got to go on these water tablets. So, um, <laughs> goodness oh, yes. knows, I'll probably be in and out. I don't know, it's going to be a bit hard, I think. But we try. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because if, if the fluid builds up on his lungs again, he's got to go and have it drawn off again and it wasn't very pleasant it was quite painful so yeah oh fingers crossed it. yeah my one i played with it i um i oh i've got a little bit of the things still there yeah but i went over the inside you know the window frame a bit actually i, I used um I used the um, a grey watercolour pencil in the end. Hmm. Just seemed to be I couldn't find a decent enough grey, so I thought, oh no, I'll just I was like like bloody George for a while, yeah. scratching away. <laughs> but it, it, you can see, look, that pencil was started off. Um, it started off that long. 
and now it's sort of that long. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did panic a bit, so I ordered a couple new ones. Just in, you know, I thought, oh, I'm going to run out of... Because grey is a really nice colour for, for a lot of these pictures. Have you got a decent sharpener? Because I just find they just break, you know, you try to get it to a point and it just breaks off. Yeah, I'll use this one. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's it. Is that it's a... Uh, they're swordfish. Swordfish no. sharpeners. It's nearly full with shavings as well. I'm scared <laughs> in case I drop it. Is, is that got a battery in? Or what? No, no, no. It's one of the old hand ones. I've got two. I've got that one. And I've got this other one, which is called, it's still the same brand, Swordfish. And I use this one's better for the, um, some of the water, some of the pastel pencils are quite big, aren't they? Yeah. So this one's got a really, it's got a, a hole that can take any of them. All right. Okay. Well, it says it can. But I did I notice it didn't sharpen it very well. Oh. So, um I think I think I'd like to buy another one in the same range. So right, okay. I might just post I might post up that one to you. Oh right. <laughs> you get one that puts uh, points back on brushes, Dave. Well, that oh yeah, that'd be, that'd, that'd be good, yeah. <laughs>